So does anyone, everyone knows about the, that guy that wanted to implement the standards to, to collect all in one, 30 standards in one and collect all, all, all together? Do you know that one? Yeah? What? <laughs> yeah, uh, so I present you the 31 <laughs> standards. Uh, yeah, my name is Philip, and uh, I'm, I, I love to talk, uh, make presentations and talk with uh, you guys, and thank you so much for s staying after the break, really. Um, and so I'm here to talk about Flutter and why am I addicted to Flutter. I'm really, uh, I only got to know Flutter uh, last summer, and uh, I've been, um, I studied um, uh, artificial intelligence, um, a master in artificial intelligence eight years ago, but there were no work available, so yeah. But uh, I started this little thing about Android, you know? And after a while, I gained enough money to, to buy a MacBook, and I was like, yeah, I will study three months more to know everything about Android, and then I'll switch to iOS to gain more money, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, I didn't stop learning for seven years, and I'm sick now. So I started looking on other uh, tools, and I saw Flutter. And believe me, this, is, this blew my mind. Um, for those who don't doesn't know me, I'm really addicted to, I'm a Google fanboy. And I'm here to tell you why Flutter is different, and why should you be excited to Flutter? And I will start with this small grid. Uh, who here is a mobile developer? Mobile developer, okay. Web developers, web developers, a few, a few, okay, awesome. Uh, React guys, no? Girls, and of course, girls, and women, and embryos. Um, uh, <laughs> so, if we divide the main, if you want to tag every uh, frameworks there is. Yeah, you have the mo most common, the uh, original, uh, I always forget this, OEM manufacturer, uh, original, I don't remember. Yeah. So we have iOS and, and Android SDK. You know, you build with Java or Scala, C++ if you want to go native. And yeah, you build in, in terms of that. And then, yeah, um, some of you guys might have heard about Titanium. I work with titan Titanium, Cordova, PhoneGap. Uh, they are basically, okay, with the guys that does, does, don't want to work with Java, it's horrible, of course, they don't want to work with Java. Uh, yeah, let's interpret uh, JavaScript into uh, uh, the widgets and the art uh, compiled language of the OEMs of the platform. And so it's more easier. And then in 2015, it came out React Native. You know, yeah, let's get reactive on the interpreted language. You know, let's get the good stuff of React with JavaScript on top of the mobile development, right? Yeah, amazing. It was really amazing. At the same time, also appeared Flutter, uh, but they were like quiet about it. But now, everyone knows about Flutter, even you guys. <laughs> so it's something. Yeah, Flutter uh, grabs the idea of the uh, reactive uh, notion, uh, way of develop, into a compiled language. You know, what is that shit? You know, what is it? Calm? All good? I will explain you really quick in my le next six minutes. So when you have interpreted language, you need to have a bridge between the components of the, uh, the device, uh, the OEM, and the language you are compiling. Uh, and this, the bridge is really good nowadays. It's really fast, it's uh, compiled, and uh, quite simple and direct. But there are, well, some bottlenecks regarding, regarding it, okay? Passing the events from the, uh, passing the events and all. But further, so Flutter grabs, as I said, grabs the, the advantages of the reactiveness of the platform without that bridge. And it's in the compiled language. Why is that important? A bit further ahead. It's quicker, it's quicker. yeah, shh, the spoilers ahead. No one, okay, wait. Um, but uh, before talking about the compiled and all of it, let's talk about the power of widgets. So 
here are some screens you can build in nowadays in Flutter, with Flutter. And can you detect what's a widget and, or what's it's not? Any clues? Well, it's simple because everything is a widget. Everything a widget. Everything about the image, the numbers, everything is a widget. And everything, uh, it's more basically just a stateless widget and a stateful uh, widget. A bit about that in, uh, further ahead. There are some uh, inherited widgets and other minor things, but that doesn't matter. The, most, the two most important ones are these ones, okay? From that one, uh, the others uh, evolve. So the difference between stateful and stateless, it's in the name. The stateful, it's stateful, it's at stage, uh, states and all. And stateless, it's, yeah, it's boring. It's, it has the information from the beginning and doesn't change. It's, yeah, positions in cell. And <laughs> the advantage of uh, the Flutter is goodbye, the global layout system. You, you hear, uh, global layout system, what is that? Well, it's CSS, goodbye. Is who mess around with Android, the XML layout, goodbye. Uh, no more separating what is the, the UI and the language itself. So this is an example of a widget. You have, okay, you want to center some, this is in the Dart 2, uh, Dart 1, later on. But basically it's, yeah, you have center, you ha want to center something, you want so something to be centered in a column, and then in that column it has a text and an icon. Look at the code and imagine what will be the result? Well, it's just this. Yeah? Centered, column, vertical column by default, and then two children, hello, world, and at the star. Simple. And the Dart 2, it now, now came out, uh, you just can omit the new. It's just like that. And uh, yeah, and that center you can just change by padding, center, align, and it will work uh, accordingly. Uh, you can switch the column by row, column, stack, and list view, and it will work magically. It just works. Uh, I like to say this as a Google guy, it just works. <laughs> and uh, that's it in terms of UI. You don't need to know, oh, and the colors goes like this. Everyone, every widget takes care of itself. The colors, the everything. And uh, the Flutter itself, the f uh, you, you work with the program developing Dart, it doesn't matter for now, but it goes on top of the engine of C++ Skia. It's just, I don't want, it's C++, it's also w used in Android, but they built something else in to on top of it. And it's, Flutter is really focused on uh, performance. It's really amazing. They haven't yet improved, it seems better, they haven't yet improved the performance of Flutter, and every app that is built is being optimized. It's working in 60 FPS and under. The size of the package, it's amazing. It's not like 45, like in Sherman. Uh, you build an Hello World app in Sherman and 40 megabytes of size. Here, you know, it's eight megabytes of size. Uh, yeah, it compiles directly to native code. It's not connected to the manufacturer uh, device, no bridge needed, and structured repainting is you just paint the device only paints what is with what the words changes on, not the whole view. It's only the things they needed. What does this mean? If you think about the reactive net frameworks nowadays, you have on one side, on your left side, you have the virtual DOM where you work on, and then the platform will translate it to the real DOM of the device of the platform, and then that real DOM will render and then will catch the canvas and the events of the, that platform itself. And on the mobile, it's kind of the same thing, but yeah, you have the virtual and then translate. Why is Flutter so different? Because of simplicity. Every widget, it's compiled by the platform into the code, the compiled code itself. In terms of Android, it's the dark, uh, art language, it's the compiled, uh, uh, language itself, it compiles directly into it. And because of, go, re, gets rid of all the annoying, everything, it's like, just because of this idea of uh, building the language itself and omitting all the, these platform widgets itself, 
compile it directly into the machine. It's a matter of exponential in terms of performance. It's amazing. And all of this is uh, super powered by Dart. It's open source. And one of my, the main difficulties of uh, uh, various platforms like uh, React or something, if uh, some new tech comes out, you know, new widget comes out, oh, yeah. 60 minutes, 60 minutes. OK, doesn't matter. I have more 60. Uh, it's all open source. But the ventures of Dart, it's a lot of really it's, uh, they decided for Dart for many reasons, but the funny story is they, they ask among inside Google for people to code a bit in Dart without telling, him, telling them what was the language. Everyone was capable of developing it in, dark, in Dart. Uh, they didn't knew the language beforehand. It's really simple to, uh, to start in. And uh, yeah, with Flutter, you just code in one code base, and it's ready for everything. And Inside the information is nowadays we talk about Android and iOS, but for sure it will be used on Fuchsia. The work is being done to work with desktop apps and all of it. Yeah, this is really me talking excited about uh, Flutter, and many you will have many questions about it, and maybe you want more details. Just contact me over Twitter. That's my Twitter account. And uh, yeah, if you use Telegram, you know what la that li last link is. And uh, if you want to reach me out or the community, I organize a GDG uh, Lisbon in here. Just go to that Slack and that channel, and we can talk. Thank you. Sorry for the delay.